Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to compare the data scientist in Python path from DataQuest and the data analyst path in DataQuest. So we have data analyst and we have data scientist and at the end I'm going to review the data engineer path. Before I start, let me just tell you that DataQuest is an online platform that teaches you about, about data science. And they basically have four paths. One is data analyst in Python, data scientist in Python, and data engineer in Python, and data analyst in R. Uh, they, they do teach some machine learning uh, courses. I'm going to show you here. I'm pretty sure you already saw that in the previous videos. But I'm going to go through quickly right now. Uh, it's one of the best and affordable online boot camps in data science among data camp. Uh, so if you're planning to learn data science or data analysts or become data analysts, I would highly recommend that you guys check DataQuest and data camp. They are affordable and they are always making sales, sale discounts, and they have pretty good material to cover. Okay, so let's just get started. Uh, and here in data analyst we have six steps and here we have eight steps in data scientist all the courses in data analyst in python they are already here data scientists in python they have more courses which are not available in data analyst python path so if you take this path you're going to end up having two certificates one is data scientist in python path and one is data analyst in python path as well if you saw my previous video you're going to see my two certificates there so the first step in data science in python we have two courses python for data science fundamentals and python for data science intermediate they covered a lot of good stuff here here and that in step number one we have the same courses here we have pandas and numpy in one course same thing here but you can see that we have more courses here. We have six courses here. Okay, we have six courses here too. Apparently they are the same. Yeah, they are exactly the same. Okay. So, step number three, two courses. And step number three, two courses. Elements of command line, okay, the same courses. Step number four, we have five courses. Step number four, we have five courses. They are exactly the same. Scale fundamentals, intermediate, advanced, the API, data analysis in Python, data analysis in business, sorry. And then you have in step five, we have statistics, probability, conditional hypothesis. Here, same thing and then step number six we have command line and git here we have but just like i told you we have machine learning and there are advanced math courses in calculus linear algebra for machine learning courses so basically you can say that the first five steps of data scientists in python are basically data analyst python and from step six they start adding some machine learning courses yeah basically it's going to teach you about decision tree and there is another course here which is going to teach you about uh, other courses other algorithms so we already finished this data analyst path so basically you can say that data scientist path has more courses than data analyst so i would highly recommend that you guys start with a data scientist python uh, path because it covers data analysis and plus other courses and even if you don't want to get a job in data engineer I would highly recommend as a data scientist that you guys go for the data engineer path and I'm going to show you why first of all this is the data engineer path they added some advanced course for Python which is this one, I think. Yeah, this one. 
and I have attended a couple of courses on Udemy and they don't teach these things. I mean, they do have a Python crash course. Where they teach you the fundamentals of Python, then immediately start with NumPy and Pandas and Matplotlib and Bokeh and all the stuff, but they don't teach these things. And apparently these things you should know if you, know, if you wanna become a data engineer. So there are some advanced courses in Python in data engineer path. What else do we have in data engineer path? This is step number one, F Python fundamentals, Python intermediate, and then Python programming concept in, with Python. And we have algorithms complexity, sorting algorithms, time complexity. As, as you can see, that skill level is intermediate. So I would highly recommend that you guys first go to the data scientist in a Python path. You finish that Python. So you finish that path, and then you come to the data engineer. Even if you don't want to become a data engineer, I would highly recommend that you guys come here because it basically, look, it teaches you about NumPy and for the data engineers. Basically, this is a, an advanced level uh, NumPy, yeah, see? Intermediate. It's, we already have a NumPy in data analyst and we already have a NumPy in data scientist Python uh, path, but the NumPy here is an advanced level course or one step ahead. Step number three, these are two al already the same thing, almost the same thing on data scientist pa uh, path. And then we have Postgres SQL. And then we have NumPy and we have processing large data sets in, pa in Pandas, Pandas library. And uh, there's, I think there's a Spark. They teach you Spark, functional programming pipeline. That's nice. Where did the pa pa Spark, Spark, binary trees, okay. I think that there was a course, uh, I think that was in data scientist. Let me just go to the data scientist in Python. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here is Mar Spark, MapReduce. Spark and MapReduce, they, it's basically, I think they should add this uh, course into the data engineer. But Spark basically deals with big data. So, as you can see, now basically when I finished the data scientist path and went to the data engineer, only a bunch of courses, I already finished them. Most of the courses were new. And uh, there were two new courses, NumPy for data engineer. Yeah, this. Now I'm recording this video on uh, 2nd of June, 2020. So I think there was, where is it? What is that engineer? Okay, two tabs, I'm already confused. Yeah, this is the data scientist path, uh, data engineer. Step five. Yeah, NumPy for data engineer. This course was added recently, this one and this one. I don't think about this one, but I'm pretty sure about this one because they sent me an email that they said that they have added a new course in the data engineer path. So they keep adding courses, which is good. And they keep updating, but there are no videos, only some bunch of articles. Let me just show you. Only some explanation on the left side. And you're gonna end up what writing it here, run the code. If you don't know, just get hint or get the answer, or you can submit the answer. And when it's a nice work, yeah, you declare that. Next. You read. Basically, you learn from here and you see here what you have to do. You write it down here and click run code. The bed the answer and then you go next and yeah this is pretty much it so basically what i want to say that even if you want to become only data scientist but i would highly highly recommend you after you finish this one you go to the data engineer now let me just quickly tell you the difference between data engineer and data scientist and data analyst uh, basically data engineer's job is to get the data Okay, and data analyst job is to prepare the data and data scientist job is to apply algorithms, machine learning algorithms on that data. 
so if you put them in a sequence so the first one will be data engineer the guy or the person who gets the data and then you have data analyst the guy who prepares the data and then we have data scientist the guy who actually apply the machine learning algorithms on the data and get the insights so number one is data engineer and then data analyst and then data scientist basically you're gonna end up doing the, all these three unless you have a big team again i'm not going to explain the data analyst in r because i'm not i haven't taken this one see it's zero oh eight percent okay maybe there are some courses i already took why it's uh, eight percent see i didn't take any course probably it's a glitch yeah it's a glitch or a bug they, they do have a buggy platform unfortunately see i haven't taken any course but it's still it's giving me that i already took this one weird weird okay so pretty much this was the video today again after you finish the data scientist path try to if you have time and you still had such subscription running try to get the data engineer and i have been studying from data quest and data com for the past three years i'm telling you until now the content in data quiz is much better than data camp but data camp has more variety of courses so if you want to have a solid good foundation i would highly recommend that you guys follow data quest and they keep having sale you can join the data quest or data camp from the links in the description below this is pretty much the video today and thank you for watching please like and subscribe and if you find it useful please share it with your friends thank you and goodbye and see you in the next video bye bye